Google. Google is a US-based software organization founded in 1998 by Sergey Brin and Larry Page. It is popularly known as a search engine. In the year 2015, Sergey Brin and Larry Page opened a new company named Alphabet Incorporation which took over Google and became the parent company of other Google subsidiaries. In December 2019, Sundar Pichai became the CEO of Alphabet Incorporation. To open Google, type www.google.com in the address bar of a browser. You can search anything on Google. Few tips for using Google search engine are Keep the search words simple like stationary shop near me or how will be the weather today. Unable to type? You can use the microphone icon to speak the search words. You do not have to worry about the spelling mistake. Apps of Google Google provides several apps free of cost for your computer as well as mobile. Some of them are Gmail, Maps, Google Drive, Google Web Store, YouTube and Google Meet. To use all the apps, you must have registered with the Google. Let's learn about some of the popular Google apps. Gmail Google Mail or Gmail is one of the best and free mailing apps accessible through a web browser over the internet. You are already familiar with the process of creating a Gmail account. Your Gmail account is used to access other apps of Google. Google Drive Google Drive is a cloud-based storage service. The synchronization feature allows you to download and upload files into the remote server. With Google Drive, multiple users can access a single file at the same time, at different locations and from different devices. You can safely store your files on Google Drive. There are no file type restrictions. So, the file can be in any format such as Word document, Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation and PDF. All the data in Google Drive is encrypted. You have to grant permission to others to access, edit or view your files. You can access your Google Drive files or documents from your smartphone tablet or computer. In simple terms, Google Drive provides your cloud storage space on Google servers that allows you to store your media files and documents and access them with any device with an active internet connection. What can you store in Google Drive? Google Drive can store all types of files such as photos, videos, PDFs, Microsoft Office files and many more. You can also save email attachments sent to you through Gmail directly to the Google Drive. You do not have to move them manually. Google Drive also has the option to see the preview of the attachment files without downloading them in browser itself. You can easily preview Microsoft documents, Adobe files, image files, audio files and video files before downloading. How much can you store in Google Drive? Google gives you 15 GB of free cloud storage when you sign up for the first time. You can upgrade it to more space if needed by paying some amount. The free space is shared between your mails, photos, data on your drive, etc. on all your Google apps. You should never sync your hard disk data to Google Drive. That way, you are unnecessarily keeping two copies of all your files and using precious space. You should make sure that your inbox and Google Drive are not cluttered with unnecessary files. You will soon run out of the cloud space that you have free of cost. How does it work? Perform the following steps to use the Google Drive. Step 1. Log in to your Gmail account. Step 2. On the top right side of the window, you will see a dotted square called Google Apps. This is also known as Google Apps Hub. Click on the square. A menu appears with the names and icons of various Google Apps. Step 3. Click on Google Drive icon. Google Drive opens in a new tab or a new window in your browser.
On the left hand side of the browser window is a navigation pane. The navigation pane has the following options. New. It helps to view, manage and upload files or folders from your computer and mobile device to Google Drive. My Drive. It helps to view and manage files stored on your Google Drive. Shared with me. It helps to view and manage files and folders that have been shared with you by others. Recent. It helps to view the recent Google Drive activity. Starred. It helps to view all your favorite or important files. Trash. It helps to view deleted items. The deleted files stay in trash for 60 days before they are permanently deleted from Google Drive. Storage. It helps to view how much space is being used by the files and folders in Google Drive. You can also see how much space a particular file occupies in the drive. Buy storage. It shows different plans of buying a space. Step 4. To upload your file, click on the new button. A drop-down menu opens. Step 5. Select the folder upload option. If you want to upload a folder or file upload option, if you want to upload a file, the open dialog box appears. Step 6. Select the files or folders you want to upload. Step 7. Click on the open button. When the file or folder is uploading, a message box at the bottom right corner of the window displays the status of the upload. Google Drive window has many more components which are Search box at the top of the window helps to search a file or folder on the drive. Click or tap the preview icon to check the content of the file. The shareable link icon generates a link of your document for sharing and giving access. A share icon allows you to share a copy of your file through Gmail. Remove icon helps to clear the clutter from the drive. The More Actions icon opens file management options like Open With, Add Shortcut, Move To, Add To Start, Rename, Download, View Details, etc. Features of Google Drive Google Drive has the following features. Work Offline this feature activates offline mode to create and edit files even without internet connection. Restore previous versions helps you to see the changes a user has made to a document in the Drive app and restore previous versions by going to File followed by Version History and then see Version History. Scan documents with your Android phone. You can create PDF, that is, portable document format, files by scanning documents with your phone's camera. Open Google Drive on the phone. Tap the plus button at the bottom right and tap scan to take picture of the document. Save it as a PDF file. This is called optical character recognition search. Publish your PowerPoint slides as an individual web page. Share your files using custom link and the ability to control who has access to it. Access your document from anywhere in the world. Changes are automatically saved. Whenever you are working in a Google file, your updates will be saved automatically without you having to save the file again and again. You can stream both music and videos from the cloud. Add audio files to the drive and you can create your playlist and play songs using apps like Music Player. You can open Microsoft Office files in the drive and convert Google files to Microsoft versions. You can choose from dozens of professional ready-made templates. Google Maps In earlier days, while traveling, we used to carry paper maps and compass to help us reach our destination without getting lost. Due to advancement of technology, now we have digital map of any place on the earth. We can access the map through a web browser or a mobile app. 
Google Maps is a digital navigation program that provides detailed information about the geographical regions of any particular area. Google Map was launched on February 8, 2005. It became available in the Play Store from December 2012. To access Google Maps from your computer, perform the following steps. Step 1. Click on the Google Apps button. Step 2. Click on the Maps icon. The Google Maps appear in a new tab or window. Step 3. By default, the map appears in the map view. However, you can change the view by clicking on the menu icon and choose the desired view option. Google Maps provide three types of maps which are Road Map. This is the default type which shows the street view of the selected region. Satellite. It shows the satellite image of the selected region. Terrain. It shows the terrain and vegetation. Step 4. Click on the Satellite option to open the map in Satellite View. Features of Google Maps. It provides step-by-step -step directions from your starting point to your destination. When there is no internet connectivity, offline mode uses the saved versions of maps. This feature is useful when traveling through areas with unstable internet. It gives you two to three route options for your destination according to the traffic situation. It usually chooses the shortest route, but you can also change the route by tapping on the route you want to take. If you have to meet someone and are not able to reach the place, you can ask them to share their live location. You can also search for essential services nearby. Due to one wrong turn, if you lose track of the route, Google Map automatically redirects you to your destination. Google Map has IVR, Interactive Voice Response. It keeps guiding you on the route. You can save the route map for a journey you will be taking by creating custom travel maps. Google Docs Google Docs is a free online word processing program. It is similar to Microsoft Word. The only difference is that this is a cloud-based program. So, the program does not reside on your computer. It was started by Google in the year 2006 as part of its complete office suite. The other programs in the cloud-based suite are Sheets, which is similar to Excel and Slides, which is similar to PowerPoint. You can access Google Docs from all devices and platforms. All you need is an internet connection and a web browser. In case of a the applicable app which your phone needs for Google Docs to work. It works for both individual file and folders. You can also use the free templates available with Google Docs. Follow the below steps to open a new document. Step 1. Click on the Google Apps button. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Click on the Docs icon from the drop-down menu. The Start a new document page appears. Step 3. Click on the blank template. A new blank document opens in a new tab or opening or importing an existing Word document for editing. You can easily open or import your Word documents in Google Docs. It might not support more advanced features and formatting of some Word documents. When you import or upload a Word document, you can use either Google Docs, that is docs.google.com or drive, drive.google.com to upload your files. Both methods let you transfer files from your computer directly into the web browser for easy uploads. Perform the following steps to import an existing document. Step 1. On the Docs Home, click on Open File Picker folder icon on the top right of the window. If you are in a Google document and want to go to Google Docs Home page, click the Docs Home icon on the top left corner of the screen. The Google Docs home page will open. Step 2. The Open a File dialog box appears. Click on the Upload tab. Step 3. You can either drag and drop your file here or browse to the file location to upload it. 
Once the Word file uploads, Docs opens it automatically. You can edit, share and collaborate the document. Step 4. When you have completed editing the document, click on the file, go to download option. Then click on the desired format. A save as dialog box appears. Browse to the desired location where you want to save your file. If you do not choose a location, the file will be downloaded to the last folder where you have downloaded a file or the default download folder. Step 5. Click on the Save button. The file will be downloaded. Google Sheets Google introduced Google Sheets, a spreadsheet application, on March 9, 2006. It works like any other spreadsheet tool, but since it is an online app, it offers much more than just the spreadsheet tools. Features of Google Sheets Following are the features of Google Sheets. Google Sheets is free and accessible over the internet from anywhere across the globe. Multiple users can work on the same spreadsheet simultaneously. It works from any device including iOS and Android. It has almost all the similar spreadsheet functions like Excel. You can easily import data and information from other Google services or directly from the web. Version history helps to find out which users have edited a file along with the edits each has made. Google Sheets has the option to open Excel files and convert them to Google Sheets and vice versa. You can also work offline, but to do so, first you need to install and enable the Google Docs offline extension. Creating and saving a new Google Sheet Perform the following steps to create a Google Sheet. Step 1. Click on the Google Apps button. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Click on the Sheets icon from the drop-down menu. The Start a new spreadsheet page opens. Step 3. Click on the blank template. A new spreadsheet opens in a new tab or window. Similar to Docs, you can upload an existing Excel workbook and edit the same. Sharing and protecting data in Google Sheets When working with Google Sheets, you do not need to worry about saving a spreadsheet. It is saved automatically. You can decide who you want to share your file with and give them edit, comment or view permissions. You can also protect specific data within your sheet so that those who have access to the sheet can only edit certain cells. Sharing a file Perform the following steps to share a spreadsheet. Step 1. Click on the Share button from the top right corner of the spreadsheet. The Share with People and Groups pop-up box appears. Step 2. Enter the email address or addresses of the people with whom you want to share the spreadsheet in the box. Or you can copy the link if you do not know the email address. Step 3. Assign permission levels by clicking on the Settings button. Step 4. Click on the status of the receiver. You can choose from Editor. Step 5. Type a message for the receiver in the message box. Step 6. Click on the Send button to share the file. Protecting Data Perform the following steps to protect a spreadsheet. Step 1. Select the data. Protected Sheets and Ranges option from the menu bar. The Protected Sheets and Ranges pane appears on the right. You can lock editing of some cells in a sheet or even a cell range in a sheet. Step 2. Select the data you would like to protect or choose Range or Sheet to protect an entire sheet. Step 3. Click on Set Permissions button. The Range Editing Permissions pop-up box appears. You can also show an error warning to anyone who attempts to edit a restricted cell range or sheet. You can also customize editing permissions for Google Slides. Google Slides is an online version of Microsoft PowerPoint developed by Google in 2006. You can now give presentation online with the help of Google Slides. Google Slides presentations include templates, images, videos, 
animation, etc. You can also edit the presentation through your smartphone with the help of Google Slides app. Features of Google Slides Google Slides provides the following features. It is free and accessible from any device. You have a choice of sharing options for your Google Slides presentation. It can be private, you can share it with a few people or you can share it publicly on the web. You can also change the editing rights for the presentation. If others are also working on a Google Slides presentation, you can chat, leave comments or work simultaneously on the presentation. Your work is automatically saved as you work on your presentation. You can directly access Google search from your presentation. Hyperlink tool can be used to create a link to go from your current slide to another slide. You can add real-time automatic captions when you present in Google Slides. You can embed Google Slides presentations in blogs and websites. Creating a new presentation. Perform the following steps to create a new presentation by using the Google Slides. Step 1. Click on the Google Apps button. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Click on the Slides icon from the drop-down menu. The Start a New Presentation page opens. Step 3. Click on the blank template. A new presentation opens in a new tab or window. Tech Hint. To change themes on Google Slides, click on the Import Theme button at the bottom of the Themes page. After making the presentation, you can present it online by clicking on the present button at the top right corner of the window. You can also share your presentation with others by clicking on the share button. YouTube YouTube is the most widely used Google app. It is a video sharing application where users can upload their videos, share, comment, watch and like other videos. The YouTube tagline Broadcast Yourself means anyone can upload their video and share it with others. After Google search, this is the second largest search engine. YouTube was founded in 2005 and since then, billions of videos have been uploaded and shared on this platform. The video can be of any topic, any subject you can think of. YouTube has two types of users, video creators and video viewers. Features of YouTube Following are the features of YouTube. Users can search for any particular keyword and watch videos. Create a personal YouTube channel. Upload videos to your channel. Like, comment or share other YouTube videos. Users can subscribe or follow other YouTube channels and users. Create playlist to organize videos and group videos together. How to create YouTube account? Perform the following steps to use the YouTube account. Step 1. Click on Google Apps button. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Click on the YouTube icon from the drop-down menu. The YouTube website opens. Step 3. The YouTube window opens with your account icon. Step 4. Type the keyword for the videos you want to search for in the search box and press the Enter key from the keyboard. For example, you want to see some information regarding the satellites India has sent into space. So, you can type Satellites India has sent into space and press Enter key. Thumbnails of all the related videos will appear on the right-hand side. The first video in the queue will start playing on half of the screen. Uploading a video on YouTube To upload a video on YouTube, you first need to create a channel. YouTube allows you to create a channel by performing certain steps. After creating a channel, follow the below steps to upload a video. Step 1 Click on the Create icon and then select the Upload Video option. The Upload Videos dialog box opens. Click on the Select Files button. Step 2. The Open dialog box appears. Locate your file and click on the Open button. When uploading process is completed, the video appears in the Upload Videos dialog box. The name of the uploaded video appears in the title bar of dialog box. 
Step 3. Enter the details of your video such as title, description and select the thumbnail for your video. Scroll down. You can add your playlist to attract more viewers. Choose the audience. Specify whether your video is meant for kids or not. Step 4. Click on the next button twice. Step 5. In the visibility dialog box, choose privacy under the save or publish section and click on the publish button. Your video is successfully uploaded. When watching a video on YouTube, you can click on the thumbs up icon if you like the video. If for any reason you did not like the video, click on thumbs down icon. If you like the video and want to share it with your friends, click on share icon. You can also save a video by clicking on save option. Some YouTube channels have very good content and you want to show when new videos will be released. Click on subscribe button and a bell icon to get a notification of new videos uploaded by